What is up, everybody? Thanks for joining another episode of Cars, Bikes, and Coffee. I am Kurt, and we are working on a 1973 Datsun 240Z. And it looks like it's in surgery right now, but what we are working on and getting prepared for is building a battery box. And one of the things I don't have in the garage or the shop is a metal brake. So in this episode, we're going to build one. Stay tuned. So a metal brake is simply a tool used to bend other metals, whether it's aluminum or steel. And in this case, we're going to be making this for aluminum sheets. Down the road, we could use it for steel. And what we need is a few angle iron and a flat iron and a square tubing. So now the idea that I am using is from I like to make stuff and I'll link that down in the description below but I wanted to make a few modifications and as well this is something that is not going to require welding uh, just simple using some bolts and some uh, nuts and we'll be able to put this together there will be some cutting involved so we'll need an uh, angle grinder to do so so let's take a look at what we need. So we do need a 2x4. In this case, I had a scrap piece of 2x6 from my deck that I just built. So I'm going to use that as my base. And the idea is to clamp the sides down to the workbench. Then we will have a flat bar as the table surface. Then an angle iron to be flat against that. So the important thing here is that these two are flat against each other. Then once we have that, then this will be our top piece. This will be held down with some bolts and that will sandwich on the piece that we are bending. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to build it about this width. And so we need to go ahead and put down our measurements, find our halfway point, and center the angle, and then find where our hinges will lie. We're gonna have to notch the flat bar for the hinge, and the other important piece is, is this flat line needs to line up to the pivot point of the hinge. And so we'll go ahead and get started. So now that we have our ends notched for the, the hinge, what we're going to want to do is take a little bit of this wood out so the hinge will fit into this area. Now that we have our wood notched out, and yes, this is a totally rough cut and I used a coping saw. I'm not too concerned on how good it looks. Um, it will be covered up by the hinge. So now what we want to do with our plate covering, let's just check our hinge and that fits in there nicely. So now what we want to do is drill through our plate and then screw and connect this to our wood. And as well, before we do mount that up, we want to make sure that the point of the edge of the plate is about close to center of the pivot of the hinge, so right about in that location. All right, so now that we got everything laid out, what we want to do is install our uh, bolts. And what we're using is a pan head 
that's about two inches long. And we've countersunk the heads into the wood. So now we're just going to put these in and bolt them all up. Now an important part on the hinges, not only do we want to line the pivot on the point, uh, just a little offset to the center between the bending part and the flat part is we want to make sure that the hinge is perfectly 90 from our flat bar. So now that we have our hinges bolted down and we want to put in our angle iron and that's going to fit approximately about here. And so what we want to do is make sure that these two pieces are perfectly flat and then make our marks for our holes and then drill those out. All right, so now that we have our uh, bending bar cut, drilled, and notched, so now what we're gonna do is just bolt this up and then go on to the handles and the top piece. All right, so now that we have our main working hinge, what we now want to do is take our second angle bar and we're going to place it as a tie down in between the two hinges. So we're going to need to cut it about here and then we're going to need to drill two holes right on the ends so we can mount bolts so that this will tighten down on whatever we're trying to bend. Now about a half inch in, I'm gonna be sanding down this angle just a little bit, just so I can get a drill bit in. And then I'll do that on both sides. All right, so now that we have our holes drilled in our angle iron, what we wanna do is transcribe those onto our flat bar and we'll want to have those angle iron parallel of course with the flat bar and the other angle bar to bend and just slightly behind the front line. So now that we have our but, whoa, our adjustment bolts put in. We want to thread on some nuts to keep them in place. And then we'll put some wing nuts on top so we can tighten this down by hand. So now that we have our top piece mounted and I actually went ahead and cut down the bolts to about an inch higher uh, than the top. Obviously we wouldn't be doing anything much more, uh, <laughs> definitely not an inch thick because that would be impossible. Uh, but just to give it a good height, we're going to go ahead and make the handles and we're going to make two handles that will bolt on to the underside of the front uh, angle iron. And we're just going to make them at one foot lengths. So the handles will go underneath the L bracket and just to the right or the left of the hinge. So just to the side. So what we want to do is put our depth mark and we're going to pop two holes into the uh, square rod. And then once we get that, we'll line those up and put them in here.
So now our metal brake is finished and assembled. So just using some 22 gauge steel, you would just loosen, place your item in, tighten it down. And there you have your bent. So there we have it. We've built our metal brake and we'll get right on building our uh, battery box. So look for that coming up shortly. So I'll leave a description of all the things I used in the description below. So you can get those parts if you're looking to make a metal brake for yourself. But thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, consider subscribing and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,